Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's Mansfield High School taking on Westford Academy. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Cyber attacks aren't going away. You can talk to an independent agent about cyber coverage from Safety Insurance. It covers data restoration, data recreation, system restoration, and more. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms, even the cyber kind. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. In last week's match between the Bromfield School and Sharon High School, Sharon defeated Bromfield to move on to the quarterfinals. So for today's match, we welcome Mansfield High School and Westford Academy. And on the Mansfield team, we have Jacob. Hey, Jacob, how you doing? I'm doing well. I'm, I'm excited to be here, Bill. And we're excited to have you, Jacob. Uh, Drew, nice to see you. Welcome to the show. I am doing good. All right. Hey, Owen, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? All right. You look like you're ready to go. And uh, Vishal, hello and welcome. Hello, Billy. How you doing? All right. Uh, the alternates are Louise and Kailash and Coach Ken Barrett. Now, competing for Westford, we have Drew. Drew, welcome to High School Quiz Show. How are you? Doing great. Good to see you. Danny, how are you? Doing good. Welcome to High School Quiz Show, uh, Suyash. Hi, thank you. Good to see you. And Samai, welcome to the show. And the alternates are Keshav and Raj, and the coaches, Tom Welsh and Mark Quatroki. <laughs> so the competition has four rounds, toss-up, head-to-head, -head, category, and lightning. Now, throughout the game, a green light is a correct answer, a red light an incorrect answer, and a gray light means no answer was given. And we start with the toss-up round. All players are active and with the correct answer can contribute 10 points per question to their team score. There are no point deductions for wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, good luck and uh, here we go. In 2021, Joe Biden declared an end to the war in Afghanistan. The war began under which president, George H.W. Bush, Bill Clinton, or George W. Bush? George W. Bush. What component of table salt is the most common glowing element in municipal street lamps across the United States? Is it sodium, chlorine, or iodine? Sodium. In 2020, what U.S. state removed the phrase Providence Plantations from the full state name in official documents? Was it Georgia, Virginia, or Rhode Island? Rhode Island. Imran Khan, captain of the team that won the 1992 Cricket World Cup, was elected prime minister of what country in 2018? India, Pakistan, or Sri Lanka? Pakistan. Now take a look at your screens, if you will, and pictured here is Professor Sir Ian Walmut and the world's most famous sheep, the first mammal to be cloned from an adult cell. She was born at the Roslyn Institute in Scotland in 1996 and given what name? Loretta, Dolly, or Patsy? Dolly, named after Dolly Parton. Years after achieving worldwide fame as the first person to patent the telephone, who worked as a special agent for the U.S. Census Bureau to help collect data on people who are deaf and blind? Was it Samuel Morse, Guillermo Marconi, or Alexander Graham Bell? Alexander Graham Bell. Who organized the 1863 
Kambahi River raid that freed more than 750 enslaved people, becoming the first woman to lead an armed military operation in the United States. Was it Sojourner Truth, Harriet Tubman, or Elizabeth Freeman? Harriet Tubman. In a TikTok video that went viral in 2020, what disco queen repurposed her 1978 hit, I Will Survive, to demonstrate proper hand washing to curb the spread of COVID-19? Was it Gloria Gaynor, Shaka Khan, or Diana Ross? <laughs> Gloria Gaynor. Located in the middle of the North Atlantic and surrounded by ocean currents, what is the only sea without a coastline? The Sargasso Sea, the Barents Sea, or the Wadden Sea? The Sargasso Sea. Now take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm Sandra Parks, Senior Director of Marketing and Product at Xfinity. Here's my question. The digital images on a computer or TV screen are made up of tiny dots known as which of the following? Is it voxels? Pixels or surfles? Pixels is the correct answer, and we move on. What U.S. president hoped to be nominated for a third term in 1920, but received no Democratic Party support due to his poor health? Was it Teddy Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, or Woodrow Wilson? Woodrow Wilson. In 2020, Disney said it would retheme Splash Mountain because of racial stereotypes from Song of the South, the 1946 film The Ride is based on. The new theme will feature Tiana, a black princess, from what film? Aladdin, Moana, or The Princess and the Frog? The Princess and the Frog. Who won the Booker Prize for her 2009 novel Wolf Hall and 2012 sequel Bringing Up the Bodies, making her the first woman to win the prestigious literary award twice? Was it Hilary Mantel, Margaret Atwood, or Barbara Kingsolver? <laughs> Hilary Mantel is the answer. In 1969, who released the song My Way, the biggest hit of his career? Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, or Sammy Davis Jr. Frank Sinatra. Named after the English mathematician who conceived it, what diagram uses overlapping circles to show all logical relationships between a collection of sets? Is it Carroll diagram, Venn diagram, or Jones diagram? Venn diagram. Today, recognized as the father of nuclear physics, in 1901, what McGill physics professor was heckled for suggesting that radioactivity was the product of fracturing atoms. Was it J.J. Thompson, Ernest Rutherford, or Michael Faraday? <laughs> Ernest Rutherford. Which of the following novels was published first in 1726? Gulliver's Travels, Moby Dick, or Little Women? Gulliver's Travels. The United States boycotted the 1980 Moscow Olympics because of Russian interference in Afghanistan. In retaliation, the Soviet Union boycotted the 1984 Summer Olympics hosted by what city? Los Angeles, Atlanta, or Salt Lake City? Los Angeles. I have marveled often at the thin line that divides success from failure. What explorer wrote this after his disastrous expedition across Antarctica from 1914 to 1916? Was it Ernest Shackleton, Robert Falcon Scott, or James Clark Ross? <laughs> Ernest Shackleton. Because they provide essential fatty acids, which of the following fats are considered good fats by nutritionists? Partially hydrogenated fats, Monounsaturated fats or polysaturated fats? Monounsaturated fats is the answer. And that's the bell that ends the toss up round. Taking a look at the score right now Mansfield High School, 560 points. Westford Academy, 400 points. Let's hear it for both teams, everybody. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next, but first we take a few minutes to get to know the players. I have a question, 
each of you gets to answer. And here it comes. We'll start with Mansfield and with you, uh, Jacob. If you were an insect, which one would you want to be and why? Well, Billy, I chose a walking stick bug Ooh. because I think it, it fits my lanky physique. And <laughs> I think they're cool. They have that camouflage ability. And oh, just yeah. Thick. Very cool selection. Uh, Dhruv, how about you? Well, my parents named me after a star, so I chose a firefly because a firefly also gives off light in the darkness. Mm -hmm. Firefly is a very cool choice, too. How about you, Owen? Well, I chose an ant because I admire how uh, a huge group of ants can all combine to go for this common goal and how they can uh, carry up to 50 times their weight. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of an underdog story as well. Yeah, the teamwork is mind-blowing with ants. Uh, Vishal, how about you? Uh, I'd be a butterfly because butterflies migrate thousands of miles and they get to travel and see the world. So I want to do that too. All right, and very colorful too. Very colorful. Over to Westford Academy. Drute, how about it? What insect and why? I would be the modern dragonfly because they also travel thousands of miles from continent to continent, just like I love traveling as well. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. How about you, Danny? Uh, the Meganura. It's the dragonflies from back in the Carb Carboniferous period. Uh, they're giant dragonflies. I just think there's a lot of cool things about dragonflies. And if I'm going to be a dragonfly, why not the ones that are a foot and a half in length? Well, you've really given it a lot of thought, haven't you, Danny? So, Yash, how about you? Uh, I also said an ant because of their incredible strength compared to their small size. All right. And finally, Samai. Uh, I'd have to go with a bumblebee because I can be a bit of a perfectionist sometimes, and I'm also very detailed in the things I do. All right, good selections, guys. And uh, now it's time to go head to head. So I say, why not do it right now? In this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total. Incorrect answers now result in a 10 point deduction. If an answer is not given, there is no impact on the score. So teams, if you're ready, good luck, and here we go. The Parliament of Canada is located in what city, Ottawa or Toronto? Ottawa. In poetry, a rhyming couplet consists of how many lines, two or four? Two. Name the tallest mountain in California, Mount Shasta or Mount Whitney? Mount Whitney. Lauren Graham and Alexis Bledel star in what TV series that got a revival in 2016? Golden Girls or Gilmore Girls? Gilmore Girls. Bats make up what order that means winged hand in Greek? Chiroptera or Lepidoptera? Chiroptera. In January 2022, California Governor Gavin Newsom denied parole to what convicted assassin of Robert F. Kennedy, David Berkowitz, or Sirhan Sirhan? Sirhan Sirhan. In 1949, what U.S. president nearly doubled the minimum wage, raising it from 40 to 75 cents an hour? Harry S. Truman or Dwight D. Eisenhower? Harry S. Truman. Who wrote the fairy tale, The Little Mermaid? Was it Hans Christian Andersen or the Brothers Grimm? Hans Christian Andersen is the answer there. And that's the end of the round. We'll take a look at the score right now. Mansfield High School, 610 points. Westford Academy, 440 points. Okay, team, good job. <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. House party, that's ancient history. The molar system, Grammy night, something borrowed, and on Wisconsin. Uh, teams will be able to select two five-question categories and have the option to toss one question per category to the other team. Teams, yes, are able to confirm Mansfield High School Who's going to be the team spokesperson in this round? It'll be Jacob and Westford Academy. It'll be Drute. Well, Westford, you've got some ground to make up. So the good news is you get to choose the first category. So what's it going to be? I'm thinking that's ancient history. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. We'll do that's ancient history. Okay, so here we go. Questions about ancient history. And for 10 points, in 2020, excavations at a Roman villa outside Pompeii unearthed the remains of two victims who were buried in the eruption of what volcano 
in 79 A.D. Uh, Mount Vesuvius. Yeah. Mount Vesuvius. And that is correct. Now for 15 points. What dynasty that emerged around 1650 B.C. is the earliest recorded Chinese dynasty supported by archaeological evidence? The Song, the Shang, or the Han? Han. Han. Yeah, I think it's a Han. Han. Drew, final answer? Han. The answer is the Shang dynasty. And now for 20 points, around 2300 B.C., what ruler known as the Great established the world's first empire, the Akkadian Empire, in ancient Mesopotamia? Not sure. Uh, you guys want to toss this? Yeah, we'll toss. Okay, Mansfield, do you have an answer? Okay, I could start. Sargon? Sargon? Yeah. Okay, that, I was going to say yeah. Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, but Sargon sounds right. So. I think it's Sargon. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Our final answer is Sargon. And that is a correct answer. And now we go back to Westford, this time for 25 points. Also known as Kush, what African kingdom conquered Egypt in 750 BC and gained control of the Nile Valley for about a century? Thinking Mali or uh, Mansa. Uh, Mansa. No, the answer is Nubia. And now for 30 points, archaeologists have found evidence that a catastrophic flood devastated the Fertile Crescent nearly 5,000 years ago. Now, this may have inspired what Sumerian epic poem that tells of a great flood that destroys the world. I don't know. Is the Tale of Gilgamesh, or is it not? Does it might be Gilgamesh. Uh, answer, Drew. Uh, the Tale of Gilgamesh. The Epic of Gilgamesh is correct. And now we go to Mansfield High School. You'll need a category. What's it going to be? Uh, I was thinking Grammy night since I know a lot about music. Okay. Here, here. okay. Uh, we're going to go with Grammy night, please. Okay, Jacob. And here we go. These are questions about, well, the Grammy Awards for 10 points. In 2021, with her win for Folklore, who made history as the first woman to win Album of the Year three times. This is the Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Yeah. yeah okay. Our answer, our answer is Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is correct now for 15 points. In 2016, what former U.S. president won his second of three Grammy Awards for Best Spoken Word Album for a Full Life? Reflections Obama. at 90. Yeah. yeah that's Obama. This is Obama. Yeah. Okay. Our answer is Obama. No, the answer is Jimmy Carter. And now for 20 points. In 2019, who won a Best Video Grammy for This Is America, a powerful single-take video laden with metaphors about race and gun violence in the United States? Okay, I think Childish this is Childish Gambino. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino is correct now for 25 points. With Black Mitzvah in 2021, what star of the film Girls Trip beat out four men to win a Grammy for Best Comedy Album? I don't really know. I mean, do we want to guess yeah, on this? We tossed it. Or... Okay, yeah, let's let's toss it. Let's toss yeah. It. Okay, so we go to Westford Academy. Do you have an answer? Tiffany Haddish, right? Tiffany Haddish, yeah. Tiffany Haddish. Final answer, Drew? Yeah. Tiffany Haddish is correct. And now back to Mansfield for 30 points. Volare is one of only two songs to feature non-English lyrics to win a Grammy for Song of the Year. What love ballad by the Beatles is the other? I think this is Michelle, because they, they speak French in Michelle. So uh, I think we're, we should go with that, so. Need an answer, Jacob. Okay, our answer is Michelle. That is correct. Michelle is the answer. Now we'll go to Westford Academy and you'll choose a category. What's it going to be? Uh, do you guys have any preferences? Uh, we'll do on Wisconsin. On Wisconsin. Questions about the great state of Wisconsin for 10 points. Wisconsin was the first state to ratify what constitutional amendment that granted women the right to vote? 19th, right? I think it's 18th. It's one of those two. 19th. 19th Amendment is correct. Now for 15 points, Wisconsin has coastlines on two great lakes, Lake Superior and what other lake? Lake Michigan. Right. Final answer, Drew? Lake Michigan. And that is correct. Now for 20 points, for generations, Sheboygan, Wisconsin has claimed to be the world capital of what German delicacy that means roast sausage? Bratwurst? Yeah, bratwurst. I think it's bratwurst. Yeah, bratwurst. 
Yeah. Proper. Uh, Bratwurst is correct. Now for 25 points in 2012, who made history as Wisconsin's first woman to serve in the U.S. Senate and the first openly gay member elected to the Senate? Tammy Baldwin. Tammy Baldwin is correct. Now for 30 points, Wisconsin native and famed guitarist Lester William Pulsfus was the pioneering inventor of the solid body electric guitar. He's better known by what name that is also a line of Gibson guitars? Well, I'll toss this I have no one. Idea. Yeah, let's toss, this. let's toss this one. You're going to toss? Yeah. And mm -hmm. we toss to Mansfield. Do you have an answer? Okay, I think this is Les Paul. Les Paul guitars. So, okay, our answer is Les Paul. And Les Paul is the correct answer. And now, Mansfield, you get to choose a category. What will it be? Okay, maybe house party. Maybe it's about think? famous houses. What do you guys think? Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. sure. Okay, we're going to go with house party. Okay, Jacob, house party it is. And these are questions about the U.S. House of Representatives. And for 10 points, since 1929, the U.S. House of Representatives has been capped at what number of voting members? 435, right? 435. Okay, 435. our answer is 435. And that's correct. Now for 15 points in May 2021, what Wyoming Republican was removed from GOP House leadership after challenging former President Trump's false claims of widespread voter fraud in the 2020 election? Liz Liz Cheney. Cheney. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Our, answer, our answer is Liz Cheney. And Liz Cheney is correct now for 20 points. Along with Senator Ed Markey, what New York representative is the co-author of the Green New Deal? AOC. Sorry. Yeah, oh, Alexandria okay. Cortez. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, our answer is Ocasio-Cortez. And that is correct. Now for 25 points in November 2020, House Democrats elected what Massachusetts representative as assistant Speaker of the House? Would it be Joe Kennedy maybe? I don't know. Because he's a representative, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> We're just going to pass. Okay, the answer is Catherine Clark. Now for 30 points, what influential South Carolina Democrat and House Majority Whip gave a last-minute endorsement of Joe Biden in 2020 that helped him win the nomination? Does anybody know this? Because I feel like we could we could toss this. So Yeah, we can toss this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, we're going to toss this question. Okay, and we will to Westford Academy. Do you have an answer? I think it's Obama, right? No, I don't. I don't think so, because he's not. Oh, wait, South Carolina. Never mind. He's not in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I saw the last minute endorsement. No answer. No answer. The answer is Jim Clyburn. And that's the end of the category round. Now we look at the score. Mansfield High School, 750 points. Westford Academy, 505 points. Good job, teams. Let's hear it, everybody. Okay, we are headed into the final round of play. It is the lightning round. All players are active, and with each response, can add or subtract 20 points to their team's total. A decision not to answer does not impact the score. Uh, there are 10 questions. Teams, good luck, and here we go. The ancient city of Persepolis is located on what modern-day country? Iran or Turkey? Iran. What former governor of Rhode Island is the current U.S. Secretary of Commerce, Gina Raimondo or Gretchen Whitmer? Gina Raimondo. From 1973 to 1990, General Augusto Pinochet was the dictator of what country, Argentina or Chile? Chile. On the periodic table, what's the only element in Group 1 that is not one of the alkali metals, potassium or hydrogen? Hydrogen. The city of Phoenix, Arizona, lies near the confluence of the Gila River and what other river? Salt River or Colorado River? Salt River. In 2021, Alabama overturned its 28-year ban on what in public schools? Rap music or yoga? Yoga. The Boston Bruins mascot is a bear named what? Blades or Slapshot? Blades. In The Great Gatsby, Tom was once a member of Nick's social club at what university? Harvard or Yale? Yale. 
Best known for playing Lou Grant on the Mary Tyler Moore Show, what Hollywood legend passed away in 2021 at the age of 91. Ted Knight or Ed Asner? Ed Asner, what is the largest oil producing state in America? Is it Texas or North Dakota? Texas is the answer there. And that is the end of the game. The winning team this week, Mansfield High School with a total score of 1,010 points. Westford Academy finishes with 705 points. So congratulations to both teams for a great round. Mansfield now moves on to play the winner of next week's match between Notre Dame Academy and Shrewsbury High School. And we'll see you next week. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Whether you prefer email, texting, or a live person, Safety Insurance is available to help you file a claim and pay your bill. Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Learn more at safetyinsurance.com. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. I feel it. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up, stands strong, and does not stay silent. When times get tough, good speaks up. Join us for good. This is what it's like.